Hey guys, Lauren here, and welcome back to another video. This time we're going to a pet haul. We're just gonna show you guys what um I what I got for my gerbils this time. Um, so I'm if, if you guys don't know about this, I am absolutely obsessed with my pets, and those pets are my five gerbils. I mean not five, um nine gerbils, which are Gandalf, um, Wisp, Chip, Thunder, Lightning. Griffin and Reacher and Teddy and Flan. So and also um Patchy. And also we have one bitter dragon, but she is in Florida. So um but we're not counting her right now because we don't have her here yet. But yeah. Anyway, so um so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys all the stuff I got. And these are for all nine of the dribbles, so this is why it's like so much stuff because Oh, there's nine gerbils. So, um, the first thing I have is some some gerbil food. This is just like a little um, diet because our gerbils are getting a little bit fat. It's not that good. So, um, yeah, Ted. and mostly Ted, but some of our other gerbils are getting fat. But this looks like, this is decent. It doesn't look that bad. Oh, sort of focus. It doesn't look too bad. Like, it's nice and healthy and stuff. It has pretty good stuff. It doesn't have too much, um... Oh my chemicals! It's really healthy, so that's why I want to get it for my dribbles. Oh, look all at natural. the back. The inside of the food. So yeah, it has a, a decent amount of good stuff. So yeah, we got some gerbil food, um, which we needed because we go through it fast because well, nine gerbils here. And we have Ted. Ted is my little chubby baby. Anyway, so now we have um, yeah. tropical carnival fruit and nut treat mix. Um, my gerbils they absolutely, they're obsessed with it. They love it. So, um, yeah, this is why I get it, and they absolutely love it. Like, I put it in their little treat bowls, and they absolutely go crazy for it. So, yeah, so those are the treats. And we had two other gerbils. They died, but um, um, they love that stuff. Yeah. So now the next thing I have is a little, um, a, which, what is it called? A molecule wooden chew. So, you, for my dribbles, you can't just get them the old, like, little plastic stuff because they will go through that in one day, guys. Or not even, like, a couple hours. Owl dribbles absolutely destroy Actually, their dribbles. toys. So, um, yeah. So, this is, like, a nice wooden, um, toy. I got one of these, like, that had, like, the bars like this, and they were pretty thick. So, this lasted them for a pretty long time, so this is why I'm getting it for them again. So, yeah, that's the uh, other... Another thing, okay, so another thing I want, I got them was, um, a loafa fruit, um, fruit chews. So this is, like, the loafa sponge that some people use to take showers and, like, rinse themselves and clean themselves with. And this is, like, a good material to make, um, toys out of. And, like, if you, because what would I do when I go to feel my, to, um, to, um, to the pet store and get, um, toys for them, I have to feel it to make sure it's, like, really hard, because this is, like, super, super hard. Like, this is going to last them a pretty long time, hopefully. So, um, yeah, that's another one. Also, like I said, I, this is the one I was talking about that had bars, just like the Molecule chew. Um, yeah, this lasted them a pretty long time. It was really good, and they absolutely love it. It's a little barrel, a, bar a barrel roller, and they just like to, like, Tug, pull, tug it and pull it and stuff and like just chew on it like what dribbles do we also got a um a woven chew ball and this is a pretty good toy because they like to just like um oh my god my thumbs got stuck in here <laughs> okay anyway so um yeah, my dribbles i absolutely love this because they just like to like take it apart slowly like they'll take like one strand of this and like pull it out and like chew on that then just do it over and over again till there's like absolutely nothing left and they they like to use this because this is like hay it's like hay material so they, they eat it too no they don't think they eat it but they like yeah. to put it in their bed where they like to sleep and they like mm -hmm. make it all fluffy or whatever they do and then we also got um, wood carrot shoes. This is like little paper right here, and this is like nice hard wood. My dribble, because if I'm gonna get my dribbles some, um, some toys, I just either get wood or loofah, because loofah's really good. Or, um, yeah. So, yeah, they absolutely, I hope they're gonna like it. I never, I haven't gotten this, gotten this for them yet, so, but I think they might like it. And these, if I was gonna give this to any of them, this would be for my girls, because my girls absolutely like chewing literally everything. Because I don't know if my boys would like to um, chew on these, but um, we'll see. So now, right, let's go to the next one. So now we have another running ball. 
because I already have two of these because um, I have nine dribbles and they need to get some exercise. So, um, so yeah, I got another one of these. I'm just going to keep buying them until I have ten for all ten of my dribbles. Um, but so, but for now, I'm just going to see if I can get nine because, like I said, one of my dribbles are in Florida right now and I'm not in that state right now. So, um, yeah, but yeah, that's another one. And another one I got is just a little hidey hut for my girls because the girls they um they didn't have one of these because I because what happened was um if you guys didn't know we had um like the the one the cages that you can like put add tubes to I think made by the same company but um that those cages did not work out for us at all so we had to get them uh um. You had to get them a, a tank to, to go in, and um, at the time, the cage that they were in that um could put like, that you can put um tubes in um had what they what didn't have a good enough like it wasn't big enough to have this in there. If I would have put this in there, like it would take off take up most of the space because the cage I got them is tall is mostly taller than wider, so that's why um I didn't get one of these for them, but um. But I did, I had one because I had another cage connecting to the other one that was much wider that can fit this in. And the one I, and I had one of these, but I gave it to my boys because they didn't, like, they don't really like to, like, make beds. They're really lazy and they just like to sleep. So I just gave this to them so they can sleep inside of and such. So now my girls have one of these because I felt bad for them because they, um, they used to like to sleep in here. So, yeah, that's where I got this for them. Um, another one I got is, oh no. Okay, so this is, it came apart, but you can put it right back, back right back together, and I'll be right back when it's back together. Alright guys, I'm back, I'm sorry about that. But, um, so yeah, so this is the wheel, this is for my girls, because my boys already have this, but if you guys are thinking this is way too big for a dribble, trust me, it is not. Like, our dribbles are about, like, like, like this big, they're, they're, with the tail, like, maybe a little bit bigger, like, they're pretty big, so, that's why I got this become, for them, because one of my dribbles, that, that, my boys that have this, they absolutely love it, because they, because some dribbles, like, well, some people get, like, that just, like, wheels that just fit their dribbles, like, size, and, like, it's hard for them to, like, stay on it, so, but this is, like, perfect, because they have extra room, so, you, like, make sure they won't fall off and stuff, and my, and this is, it's silent, too, that's another thing, like, it doesn't make any noise, see, oh, yeah. it's a little bit, like, a little the wind and stuff, but, um, yeah, that's why I also like it, because it's nice and big and spacey for them, so, um, yeah, and also because it's silent, so at night, they would not, because they love to do it at night because they are nocturnal animals. So that's why um, I like this because at night they just absolutely love to go on their wheel. So yeah, so this is, what, so this is for my girls when I get to um, give it to them on tomorrow. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, so the next one I got for the girls, I mean not for the girls, for the gerbils, are, is this um, lounging. Oh my god. Sorry, but I guess something happened. Okay, so now we have the lounging logs for the dribbles. So, um, yeah, this is for, I'll show you what, what it's for later on in the video. But, yeah, this is just for my dribbles to, like, well, just so you know, because I got, um, a pen for the dribbles so they can, like, get some more exercise, like, outside of these balls. Because it's not, like, I don't want to, like, stress them out too much in these balls because it just, I don't know. I just want to have something different for them so they can actually run around. So, I'll, if, when I have... When it, since I got the um, a pen, it's going it's going to go in here so they have like something to hide underneath, and I also got some more stuff for them to play with, like the two toys I got them. I could put some of those in there just to keep them busy, like besides this like being bored and running around. Sorry about that, guys. Michaela's um, iPod, but um, sorry. All right, so this is the other another thing I got them. Okay, so this is another thing I was pretty excited to get them because up oh, up. Oh. Okay, because, um, because I am sick and tired, not sick and tired, but I, I prefer not to be worrying about my dribbles getting kicked by one of these balls, because, um, if you, because this is actually for, to put them in, and then they can just run around and stuff, it's really good. 
But yeah, so this is this is for them to like you can put the ball on here and they can actually run on it and like you can make like a little circle for this. And it's just easier because like I get really worried like sometimes like I lose the dribbles and I can't find the like where the balls are and I just start freaking out. But this is, this is a good way just to um to make sure they're okay because this so they can like run back and forth whatever they want and I don't have to worry about them like escaping the um out of the balls or anything. So yeah. So this is another thing. Okay, this is what I was gonna tell you guys about. So this is the um, the pen I've got in my gerbils. So, oh my God, hold on, guys. Okay, finally got it out of the bag. Okay, so this is the um, the Critter Tail play pen, and this is actually pretty interesting. So this is actually like it's not made for it, but you can, you can decide to do it if you want to. It's um, optional, but you can put one of those tubes in that um. I think it's called Katie. Yeah, Katie makes. Um, and you can like add it onto the cage. If you want, like, see, like, I think it shows it somewhere on the pen. Well, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But see, like, see these tubes? This is what I was talking about. Like, so you can add these tubes and lead it to the cage. So, like, your cage, like, it says right there. See, it shows you right there. It's like a little tube right there in the cage. But I wouldn't do that because I've gotten this pen before and my gerbils in the past have jumped over it. So um have yeah, they've leaped over it and they have escaped. So this is why I do not want to do that because then if I do that and I go like, go to the bathroom or something, and I'm like I see my gerbils like running around and like my cat's out or something, I'm like, no, my cat. But anyway, <laughs> but um yeah, and this also comes with a mat, so I don't have to worry about cleaning up their um, their um, pee and poop off the floor because that's just nasty. But this is a plastic um, mat, so I don't have to worry about any stains or anything. So it's gonna be really good. Just wash it off in the end. Yeah. So um, and so this is why I wanted to get the um, this so I can just like put this in there so it would um keep them like have other stuff for them to do and. and I could also put um like some treats in there and whatever I like whatever. And this isn't just just random logs; it's um, connected. And yeah, you can bend yeah, it. you can connect it and like bend it into a bridge or something, or like a little zigzag as it shows in the back. And it's made of natural pine logs, which is pretty cool. So it'll keep them pretty occupied for the time that they're in the pen. So yeah. So the next one I wanted to get I had to get the dribbles were um more bowls because if you guys don't know who trickster chris nine is he had some gerbils he had, we gave him two of our male gerbils that um one of my female gerbils had when we first got her we did not know she was pregnant when we got her and then about like a week later after we got her she had seven babies yeah seven and if you guys did not know we gave two of them to christopher and i gave another two to um my other two cousins and which are still because they, my girl dribbles and my all my dribbles, besides the one in Florida, stay with my aunt in in her house because um, my grand because I live with my grandma and she does not like pets or anything, so we cannot keep pets in this house. But that's why I keep them in here. I mean, in that that's why we keep them in our aunt's house and we visit them very a lot. We visit them a lot of the times of the week. But um, anyway. Yeah, Chuck Sucre's nine. He just got like he just like he got a little bit like scared a little bit because of um one of them bit him because like like if you guys didn't know dribbles they um they like little they take they nibble you sometimes like when they don't want to be held anymore and that's just like like them like saying like all right can you put please put me back in my cage and it's not like a sign of aggression it's just like a sign of like all right I want to go back in my cage or eat or sleep or something. So yeah, that's why I think Christopher got a little bit scared because they bit him. So, um, but I don't blame him because these are his, his first like major pet besides like a fish and stuff. So it's all right, it's completely fine. We'll take. We told him like if anything gets too much for you, we'll take them back. But yeah, um, and also um, we have to get them more bowls because if you guys didn't know, um, we got three new gerbils because three of our other gerbils sadly escaped their cages and were killed by a rat and like about like a week later my mom said we can get um a couple like two more gerbils just to help us cope with it and cope with our loss well um so we did and we got um teddy our gerbil 
which is he's a he's the father we believe of our male gerbils. I mean of our baby gerbils that wisp had. Um if you guys don't know if you put the um, what wisp who wisp is, you guys can check out the videos. Um they're called well, one of the videos in our channels. We have a whole bunch of dribble update videos on the baby dribbles. We have one when they first open their eyes, when they're like two days old and everything. So if you guys want to see that, you can go check that out. And um, yeah. So anyway, I got these ceramic bowls for um, Griffin and Reacher, which are Christopher's dribbles that he gave back to us. Um, so this is their bowl. I'm going to go decorate it because it's kind of plain because I get usually like like cool little bowls for them that like have like little markings or like on my like say stuff and whatever because like, once I got like a little treat bowl it was like a little radish and it was really cute and whatever and I got another one that's like a honeycomb that I'm going to show you guys that's in the bag over there I have to show you guys this and so yeah it's ceramic because our dribbles absolutely destroy plastic bowls and like other bowls so it's nice and ceramic They this will last them forever and metal is good too yeah also bowls. metal is a good bowl too but I just like to use the ceramic because they, they I like them better Okay, so this is the honeycomb bowl I was talking about. It's like a, it has like little honeycombs on it. See, like little honeycomb pattern and stuff. It's really cool. I love it. And I just like to get like, cool little bowls like this for my dribbles. It has like little plain ones like this. And but I'm going way, to write their names on it to make it a little bit more decorated. And by the way, the um, this has rims, so the food, the food will hardly fall out. Yeah, this is also a good bowl because my some of my dribbles like to sit in their food and like kick. I think that means they're going to a bathroom in it. I don't really know. But they like to um, go in it, like kick and like to dig like in their food or like bury their food or something. And they get it, they get it absolutely everywhere. If you guys see, like it has like little rims around the bowl to keep the food inside. So that will be good. And this is just for Gandalf, our albino gerbil, because she, um, if you guys don't know, she is all alone because, um, like I said, when our dribbles passed away, um, we had, we, like, about a week later, we had to get, um, we had to get, um, my two mom dribbles. said we can get two more dribbles just to cope, help us cope with the loss. So, um, so, um, uh, we got Teddy, which is the dad, which I was telling you guys, which we believe is the father, because we got him from the same tank as the mom, as the mom wisp. And everything, and he had he has lots of babies. When we, when we, Cause when we went to go get him, he had like seven babies in the tank with him with the mom. It was pretty bad. That's why I wanted to get him because he was being bred way too much, and it was not good at all. So um, that's why I got him because I just feel bad for him, and he he looks so sweet. So and it was bad for the mom too. Yeah. It was. it was so. <laughs> and the babies were tiny. That's why because she, she was breeding too much with them. Yeah. So, um, so so yeah. That's just wanted to um, tell you guys. So what happened was we got Teddy, and then after that we had to. There was no more males in that pet store, so I figured we can pair um males, the other male together, because they say they're pretty easy to pair. It takes like a day or two. It's not that bad, but um, but sometimes it takes longer than that. But from my experience, it takes like a day or two, and they're completely fine with each other. But um, so yeah, we went to go get um, Gandalf and um. Which is our, our albino dribble, which was supposed to be a girl, but no, it was a girl. Wait, it was supposed well, to be. No, so, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. I want to say a boy. It was supposed to be a boy, but no, it was a girl. My aunt checked, and it was a girl. And now she's not pregnant. That's yeah. So we put them with we put her with Teddy, and Teddy was completely fine with that. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. So then they were completely fine with each other. But then my aunt held them and realized that. Gandalf was a she. So, um, yeah, that's why she's all alone because we needed to get her away from Teddy before we have even more baby gerbils. So, um, yeah, that was pretty weird. But since Teddy was all alone, we had to um, get him another friend, which was Flan. If you guys haven't seen the new video, um, Gerbil Update, you guys, if you haven't seen it, just go check it out. It's, um, they're... That we show all of our dribbles in that video. So if you guys are confused like who Wisp is or who Chip is, you guys can just go check it out. Check out that video and you guys will understand a lot more. So, um, yeah, so, um, oops, okay, I was a little bit too hard. Um, um, so yeah, so we had to get, um, 
teddy a friend and that was fun fun's like this color of this hamster's head he like the color of this hamster's head but a little bit lighter he's like a blonde gerbil he is the cutest and sweetest gerbil ever i love him so much i think wakila is gonna ha has a picture of the gerbil but um yeah so he is the sweetest gerbil ever but um you have a picture um let's see let's see let's see let's but anyway see, see. um bobby johnny videos what? Bobby he Johnny. Bobby Johnny can go on my camera. Bobby Johnny. He's just weird. I saw him sleeping on top of the table outside. Oh, no, this is one where um, I think this is Ted. Yeah, that's Ted right there. Like, absolutely legging it on the new wheel we got him. Um, sorry about the screaming. <laughs> sorry about the <laughs> yeah, screaming. Our cousins are playing and stuff, and they're, like, really little. Oh, it's so, really um, dark there, too. And sorry about the reflection. Here, put it back to the beginning, please. But yeah, um, yeah, that's Teddy. If you guys look in the in the picture, he's right there. That's Teddy right there. He is the chunkiest gerbil. But when we first we got him a wheel like this, and it's teal, and he absolutely loves it. It's the cutest thing ever. But um, yeah, that wasn't Flan. Flan isn't in that picture. Yes, but he is. I think Flan is in the video because I think I switched. This hamster looks so derpy. It's the cutest thing ever. I want it. Oh, look. This oh, is, so um, if, if you guys can see, gerbil. this is um, this is um, Gandalf. Gandalf is the white albino gerbil that we thought was a boy, but she's it's actually shy. a girl. She's like and she's a very looking. shy gerbil, and she's very tiny too. And. See, she is so um, a albino, and she is just so sweet, and she's very curious. Like, when you come up to her, she comes out to the cage. If you guys can see, it, that's also the tanks we have the gerbils in right now. That and look at Teddy! And that's fun! See, that's fun right there? Um, he's yeah, that's so fun. That. And that's and um, Chip. All of the, um, well, four of them are in there. Yeah, they're all in there right now, because that's what they do all the time. Look at this. Look, it's like a clown car. Oh, that's oh, they're so cute. But yeah, those are the girls. But um, also, so yeah, um, this is when we didn't have the two boys. Um, get um, not get Griffin it. and Reacher. Griffin and Reacher. Yeah, this is when Christopher still had them. But um, yeah. So thank you for showing me the. the thank you for showing everyone the dribbles. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that I mean, so we had to get Flan a friend. I mean, Teddy a friend, and that was Flan, and they ended up being best friends. It was the cutest thing. But um. And we thought we figured, oh yeah, we could put um, um, this is when we the girls that. together. We put the, we could put the girls together, um, but um, apparently not. Gandalf ended up being attacked by Wisp because we, we didn't want to put them all together at once because they might gang up on her. So we put one at a time, and it did not end up well. So that's why she's alone right now. But luckily, we have a female in Florida that we're we, that we're going to be getting and moving her back over here. That was supposed to be a boy. Again. She, yeah, the two people when we got her told us that she was a boy, but it's, she's a girl. So um, um, so yeah. And, the one in Florida, her name is Patchy, and she's a Swedish gerbil. She looks just like Ted, but um, anyway, um, so what we have to do is um, we would have to pair Gandalf and um, what's her name? Oh my God, I, can't, I forget. I have so many gerbils. Gandalf and Patchy because Patchy is a Swedish gerbil ever. She's she is. So nice. She is so good with her. She was just so good with gerbils. When we put her together with our gerbils that um sadly passed away, like last july um she absolutely loved them she would clean them all the time it was awesome but um you yeah you watch the youtube video um 50 um 50 of our pets died in one month no not that uh, it was uh, um months. no if you guys see if you look at all the our, our um if you look at um our videos called all of our pets and you might see patchy and if you know guys notice we're wearing gloves because she bites sometimes and we're still training her to um not bite but um yeah so this is what i just want to show you guys and i just want to tell you guys a little bit more and up to you guys about the dribbles oh. so oh i forgot that oh, no i showed them this one oh so yeah so um cute. here's all the stuff we got them all this and the, the rest of the stuff i showed you guys it's in here so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the pet haul, and bye! bye.